Let's try some examples. Decide if the following expressions are polynomials. Well, is this one a polynomial? Yes, it is. It's a sum of, of whole number powers of the variable x. x to the 4, x to the 2, and x to the 0. This is a polynomial of degree 4. What about b? Ah, this is a sum of um, powers of a variable, but this one's power is a half, and this one's power is negative 1. Neither a half nor negative 1 are allowed in a polynomial. And evaluating or substituting. If p of x is x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 2, so that's a cubic polynomial, evaluate p of 2. Well, that means put 2, substitute 2, into the expression wherever x is. So that becomes 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 squared minus 2 plus 2. Carefully evaluate. 2 cubed is 8. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. And do the maths. P of minus 3. Now this will highlight a th something you really need to be careful of. Carefully substitute minus 3 in. Now you will see why we always use brackets when we do this substitution. Because if it's a negative number, a, a, a even number power of a negative number is a positive number. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, leaving this minus sign as still a minus. Be careful when you do that. A negative cubed, because it's an, it's an odd power, and this one's also an odd power, those negatives stay, which means negative 27 and minus negative 3 is plus 3. But this one is, is an even power and therefore becomes a positive. Be careful.